Welcome back to the fire that is Pokemon Z. In the last episode, we got to the town here. We did some training a little bit, not much. And we solved the riddle, supposedly, about the four kings that were for the current king. So that was kind of cool. A little, like, walk down memory lane, go down memory lane kind of thing. So that was cool. Nice little touch. Ooh, thanks. Hello. Okay, so let's do some exploring. Okay, so if you got any of the certain grass types, you can trade them for the Kanto starters. Nice. I've noticed. <laughs> I noticed indeed. Dry gravel. That's got it. That probably left a little bit of a mark, honestly. Ew. Ouch. That sucks. When you get, like, a type of burn that makes left you up. If you're north or east, you'll see snow rats. I see. I see. So I think it's how the game starts, like, it's very sensitive when the game starts. So I mean, I get it, like, but the, if the programming was how programming is, like, it can be probably difficult. Ooh, hello. And this is the gym, I assume, but let's keep exploring. Hello. Weird. Hey! Thanks. Oh, big house. Big house. I'm gonna guess this is where the party's gonna be. Who are you? You don't say. Let's friggin' go. Ooh, I see win. Nice. Thanks. Greatly appreciated for the TM. Wait, what do you want? Timber for a Riolo. Not a bad trade, I feel like. That is a big snorkel. <laughs> At a big boy. All right, let's go check out the gym. Yo, hello, Esprit. The best in specialists the ghost types. Oh, great. Guess Hound Door is gonna be our go-to guy. The thing is, I think he evolves in one level, so that is. Clutch. Okay. Do. Do. Oh, I gotta go on the stage. Gotcha. Got a growlith. Do. Let's get to work, okay? I want you to practice the romantic scene in the second act. Show me information in 
conversation skills lets the muse of art invade your entire being. There is no happiness or unhappiness in the world, only a comparison between different states of mind. So only he who has wished to die really knows how good it is to live. What does life represent to you after all? How? What a lack of talent. Of passion, of determination. Is there no blood running through your veins or what? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, hello. Are you lost? Let me show you. You can defeat me, of course. Oh, that's not a good lead for me. Raise a leaf! Ouch. Raise a leaf! Snarl! Is that a shiny? I think that might have been a shiny. I see you have learned your lesson well. To the right. Hello. Come on, tell me. Snarl. Actually, that's actually fortunate. Hey, let's go. Earlyish, we'll go to Pikachu. Thundershot. That did nothing. Try to help you. I did Hound Door of Awesome 22. Was I mistaken? 24. That did not kill. Wait, wait. Well, that's what I'm dead. That actually did good damage. Cut her again. Aha! We made it! Have you come calling back from the shadows? That's what I call tenacity. Maybe I underestimated you. You seem to have a passion for Pokemon battles, at least. You have my attention, Aspirant Fire. You and I will do it. Take the elevator on the left side of the theater. I'll be waiting for you at my spooky Pokemon, too. 
Oh, so apparently, looks like you had to fail, because he was just so miserable, it seems. Oh boy. Okay. Let's give... Ooh, not bad. Give that to you. Hopefully Houndor can do uh, some work. Actually, let's go Pidgeotto first. I feel like that might be better. I have dedicated my life to opera and theater, even though it has led me to deep loneliness. Personally, I think you can live without to love, but not without music. And not without Pokemon either. Shall we start at once? Yes, yes we shall. Do not judge me by the mask that covers my face, because I show my true face with my actions. And I especially think a good Pokemon battle brings out a person's true colors. Will you show me yours, Fire? Let's dance. Lamp it to lead off. Mystical Fire. You have got to be kidding me. You confuse already me. Why would you not? So potion, of course. I hit another snarl, though. Oh, let's go, Houndor. Mischievous. Let's go to cool. Let's go to you. And Razor. I see. Ow. Jesus! And we got the poison, let's go. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I'm gonna cut back till we get back here. Be right back, guys. Let's try this again. Oh, nice. See when that's fine. I shot. That's the fence girl. Mischievous is a pain in the ass! Okay. 
got the seeds off. And then bulldoze. Nice, good damage. Ow. Okay, heal again. Pharaoh Prison. Oh, so close. No. Let's go! Second time's the charm with this one. This passion, this love for Pokemon, you will be my next star. I present to you my medal, the Spectre medal. If I could, I would give you two. That's not a ghost one whatsoever. I hope this TM makes up for throwing you into the darkness. <laughs> and now I must ask you a favor. Will you honor me while participating in the Chateau Roselle Opera? I have a role in which you would fit perfectly. Do not refuse, Fire. I have seen in your eyes a sparkle of genius that only those touched by grace of the eternal tree possesses. I'll see you there, okay? Tonight, you and I will conquer the heart of the masses. Only took me two times this time. Good lord. These things are not easy. Hello. This car, we're all here. Mm -hmm. What is happening, Professor? Fire, Melia, you have been invited to the Chateau Rosea party, have you? True. <laughs> yes. And he also said that we would be guests of honor. Oh. I have also received an invitation, so I will join you. And what's wrong with me? It seems like I haven't enjoyed the same luck. Don't worry, every old guest has the right to bring someone. I have assigned you as my dance partner. <sighs> my, my first date. <laughs> anyway, the first thing is not the party itself. I want to take advantage of the fact that I'll be inside the Chateau Resilion to ask for an ex extracurricular mission. There is something very anemic in there that I would like to investigate. I'll give you more details in the evening. Now I must prepare. You, the aspirants, are expected to be dressed in your adventure clothes. But for mademoiselles of a certain age like me, etiquette requires that I wear a most elegant dress. Ah. ah, Professor, let me help you get dressed! Oh my goodness. I have a closet with over 100 athletic EV skin dresses. I can ask them to be brought to us. Uh. I, I, no, Pokemon skins aren't my style. Then we'll go shopping, come on! Oh god. <laughs> It looks like they're going to be entertained for a long time. Do you think we should go have something at the Cafe Bahamut? Fire. To do something while we wait for you. That was... That was hilarious. That was great. I like that. She's just like, oh my god, I have to help you get dressed. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. Alright. Now I gotta find the cafe. Oh, it's right here. Duh. Ew. Oh, there he is. Sit down and let's have something fire. We'll have a pleasant time chatting about exciting matters. Be my faith. Oh. And then I told him that he had fallen in con contradiction and that he could not separate human nature from the knowledge that we acquire by being raised into society. So I become the champion of the Pokemon Academy Debate Club. It was the happiest moment of my life. Mm -hmm. Come on. Do, Professor, I see you well. Ah. Isn't that right? The colors suit you a lot. Uh. Where will be... Where will... Where will be the sweet sauce of death when it's needed? But pay attention, the important thing. In case you didn't know, Mazur Rosalian is a collector of banned books and ocular relics. It is not that he is involved in any strange sect or anything like that. He just likes to collect these things in case one day they acquire great value. <laughs> it's true. My father once told me that he even had a secret library somewhere in the mansion. Indeed, and deep in that library, it keeps something that I'm looking for. An, old, an eon old artifact extracted from the roots of the Eternal's tree. Something that looks like a golden crystal. 
and that will be your important mission. You will go to the party. You will find the entrance to the secret library, and you will take that golden crystal so that I can study it. Mm. Professor, what are you asking of is called stealing. We will be corrupting a petty act that corrupts the soul and... Stop being so screamish. That man could bury us and all our descendants for centuries to come in money. It's going to be dark soon. It's time. I'll see you at the party. Uh, how... Who's going to predict that this is going to go very poorly? It's going to go very poorly. Enjoy the party, Master Mira. Ah. Our paths cross again. Your name was... Fire. I'll try not to forget. It has reached my ears that you will play an important role in his op opera. I trust that you will perform correctly to honor Sir Saul. Especially when the theme of the opera is the fall of the internal tree. That was not necessary. Hey, Petra. Orin. Thanks. I'll take this item too. Pokey Toxin. Wonderful. I do. What's in here? Ooh, item. Materials! And I will take your item, thank you. I do. Your pearl was right there on the chair, girl. Like, come on. Use your eyes. Get me up. Because I have a feeling. Have you seen a mysterious clerk of the Golden Order? I thought they no longer existed. There are very few left who preach the teachings of the Eternal Tree. Hello. That's not fishy. Thank you. Is there, nope, no item here. Anything in here? Oh, yep. Ether, let's go. Not bad, not bad. Can't complain. Can I talk to you? <laughs> Good lord. You hit it. Oh, black clouds are never a good sign. Don't mind me stealing the materials from here. No big deal, right? No big deal. Ooh, here. Ooh, let's... I feel like I've been in here before. Ooh, expert. That is not tape. That is a belt. So, yeah. That was not a choice. Not a smart one, I say. Oh, I was in there already. Check out all the rooms. Uh -huh. Zoom lens. This is the library. I will look later again. I'm just exploring for now. Ooh, another item. Ooh, special X. So the library's here, right? It's just a matter of where to find the secret one, unless we have to do the party first. Which is possible, it's possible. Let's 
games. Ah, there they are. Mm -hmm. it, is he who I, who I think? Is the man the professor is talking to, Monsieur Lanto? This is the richest man in all of Kalos, but he is also a fervent at this, patron, intellectual, a lover of progress and culture. Mm. Ooh, what two handsome young men. Mm. Such talkative eyes full of light. What are your names? Have you come with our company? Are you looking for her? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can show you the funnest parts of a party. Mm. Uh, <laughs> a little too creepy. Lanto, get away from my students right now or you'll end the night at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Have a little respect. You're twice their age. Ah. I see your character becomes better with time, Mademoiselle Oliver. What do you think ill of my kind courtesy? Courtesy, of course. I understand your courtesy perfectly, Monsieur. You don't know me, but my name is Cristiano. It is thanks to one of your precious programs that I was able to study and build a future for myself. I use so much, Monsieur. Oh. Ah. And did you study anything related to sports, Cristiano? You have a very athletic build. Please finish this conversation and set the table right now. I guess I'm sitting here. <laughs> Fire, Cristiano. I imagine you remember Captain Merlot, the father of Melia. Mm -hmm. I want to toast to you, Mademoiselle Alaba. You are doing a wonderful job with your students. I never doubt that Melia would be able to defeat a reagent, and she has already defeated two! But the credit is entirely theirs. They are trying very hard. <laughs> Thanks, Professor! The courage of youth for life should be eternal. What a pity that we all have to grow old. By the way, Monsieur, Monsieur Lato, you're always up to date with all the gossip in the region, right? Indeed, one does not reach a privilege of position without knowing things. Well, let's see if you know anything about this. Apparently, my elaborate laborers in the northern fields have begun to commit small insurrections. You hear them talking about rebellion, about raising pokeballs against the nobility. And so I hear them pronounce a strange name. Alica. Alica? Well, now that you say it. The truth is that word does not sound, doesn't sound familiar to me at all. I'm sorry, I can't. Please, you captain. It is a pity. These insurrections are beginning to be worrying, and King Esther is unable to do anything. That name, Alka, is the only clue we have. Mm. Anyway, my honorable captain, whatever has to come, will come. What do you mean, Monsieur? The history of this world has already expressed its pilgrim shifts, right? It is part of the beauty of life. This not make you happy to know that you experience an historic change, that you will witness something unique and unrepeatable. Your reasonings are as centric as, as usual, Monsieur. I just want peace and order in this world, and that human and Pokemon can live together in perfect harmony. I'm sorry to interrupt your evening, but the opera scene in which you're going to participate is going to begin. Will you do the honor of coming on stage, please? When you go on stage, you'll have to face another actor in an intense Pokemon battle. Your role is to defeat them while I narrate the story, so prepare well. Do you have everything ready? I have placed my trust in you. Do not fail me. You told before, ladies and gentlemen, how the region of Kalos was founded a thousand years ago around the eternal tree. The pl tree planted by an ancient civilization fertilized the earth and all the Pokemon and human that lived on it. Deep where inner roots and warmth was the golden light of which it bathed us. But not everyone respected the eternal tree equally. Well, we come to the region of Malvo, nicknamed the Shadow King 500 years ago. King Malvo attempted to conquer the power of the Eternal Tree in order to extend his lineage beyond the laws of life and death. With an iron fist, he declared war on all opponents who tried to stop his ambitions, until the twelve ruling houses aided, allied themselves to send their best warriors facing him faced him at the feet of the eternal tree. Okay, that's cool. Make sure my speed up's not okay. Let's switch. I really have a fracture that is not necessary.
stay in. What a great Pokemon battle! That young man is very talented. With King Malthus defeated, the region of Kalos was at peace again. But we had arrived late. The eternal tree hath withered as a result of that great war. The sacred city that had been built around him, Golden City, was darkened and closed forever. And if it was not enough, the legendary Pokemon of the eternal tree were shown to the world. Zonius, life-giving Pokemon that guarded the base of the tree. Yavelto, Pokemon bringing death, which lived at the highest cost. And Zygarde, who sought a balance between life and death. His home was the roots of the tree. And just as they showed themselves for the world for the first time, they were gone. Never to be seen again. There are those who say that they are still in Kalos, hidden and dwelling so hidden that neither human nor Pokemon will ever be able to reach them. Our beloved region continues its history. New kings arrive, and in time, prosperity returns, and returned in a way. But never forget this. Without an eternal tree that blooms again, Kalos will never reach true paradise. Thank you, thank you. You're a great audience. I want to thank all the actors and actresses and other artists who have accompanied me. <laughs> but how well you act, Fire. I didn't know you had that kind of talent. <sighs> Fire, the way you have honored the story of the fall of the eternal tree. It, it's so moving. Excuse me, I can't stop the tears from coming. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, you have managed to move that clerk. Anyway, Melly and I thought that we should take advantage of the fact that it's getting dark to look for the secret library. People are going to be distracted, drinking, and party. It's our time. <sighs> and where do we start? This house only being a quarter of my summer residence is enormous. We'll search all the rooms. Maybe we'll find something. For example, on the upper floor. Let's heal up. And let's go. I believe it was. I had a little too much to drink. But I still can beat you without a problem. Why are you fighting me? You didn't fight me before! And you frickin' confused me! Ow. Oh, you mother effer. And... Hey. I got lucky there. Oh, fire effect. Oh, there's a smog. Look at this boy! Keep those hands to yourself, Menzarlanto. I'm engaged. <laughs> but what happens in here? Or I mean, a secret for the two of us, right? Ah. Oh. oh, had I dropped my little mirror of truth? You know what? You can keep it as a reward for being so adorable. Anyway, I have more at home. The living truth will reveal false objects that hide hidden paths. There's a very particular fireplace on the ground floor. Why don't you try it there to prove what I'm saying? Okay. Help me, please. I think it was this one. Ah! Sucks. You gotta keep uh, doing it and then not doing it and then doing it and then not doing it. 
me get the... Oh, okay. Fire, you're a genius. You have found a secret library. Oh, so much dust and cobwebs. Professor said we had to look for a golden crystal, right? Let's see if we can find it soon. Oops, we're not expecting a visitor. We are very sorry for the disorder. Can you excuse us with a good fight? did he live? That's really what I want. Oh, how the hell did he live? Confused. Oh, I see. Gotta find books. Aha. God, our oaks end here. Why do you say that? Just because the door is closed? Do you see that Florigus above the door? It's the emblem of the royal family. The door can only be opened by the king of Kalos, or by a very close relative with the same royal blood. This is an unbreakable security measure. 
whatever is behind the door. It is extremely valuable. We have to retreat. Totally defeated. We have not been able to comply with what the professor asked us to do. What a terrible alert we are. Now the bitter fragrance of utter failure surrounds us. Open the little door. But how? How is this possible? It's a very long explanation, but in short, I am not the daughter of Captain Merla. I am actually the daughter of King Aster and heir to the crown of Kalos, I believe. It's a secret, huh? Please, I'll be very angry with you if you reveal my identity. But it's impossible for you to be the King Daughter. He has no heirs! You have to tell us what this is about. Not now. It's really too long to tell. If anything, another time, okay? Now, let's see what's behind the hidden door. This site is full of forbidden books. Look, here's the legendary trees of Master Sycamore that talks about romantic love between it, humans, and Pokemon. It's a book totally outside the law. If the authorities found out about this, look, well, Professor said we had to look for a gold colored crystal, right? It has to be this thing. Let's not waste any more time. We have to get back to the party before they notice our absence. Oh. I just want to admire a little of the ancestral knowledge that we'll never see again. Excuse me, your highness. Don't do that. <laughs> Treat me the same despite what I've told you, please. It's true, I'm sorry. It's just that seeing all these books have exalted me. The girl is right. You should leave. Ah, uh, the weird clerk. How'd you get... In? How did you get here? There's a door locked with the royal seal. Ah. There's another, easier path through the pond's drainage system. I know, because I've been studying this house for a long time. And why does he do that? I thought clerks were dedicated to meditating and helping others. I leave the ethical questions for the most learned. I owe myself to the principles of the Golden Order, even though it is now gone. That artifact you see there is a piece of crystallized staff from the Eternal Tree. It is possibly the last sample we have of his light. That's exciting. I wouldn't have imagined that we were dealing with something so valuable. And to think that he has been locked up in a rich man's secret chamber for decades, where he should be studied. If you have any kind of appreciation for Pokemon, you will let me take the crystal. Mm -hmm. How? What do you mean? If the secret within the crystal are unraveled, it could be used as an ultimate weapon. This weapon would be powered by vital energy of Pokemon. <laughs> oh no! But we wouldn't be able to do something so terrible. We're just three innocent aspirants. Of course, it occurs to me that we could reach an agreement and share it. You let our professor study it, and when she finished, we'll give it to you. Ah. Don't trust the alchemists. This is not a debate. I will take the crystal even if it has to be by force. A three against one seems a bit unfair to me. I will face fire alone. You're very determined to get this crystal, my dear. Wow, I just one shot him. Okay. See, you're not a normal person. Do you also have the blessing of the eternal tree? I don't know, but we'll find out. What is this I witnessed? Another human being who understands Pokemon at the same level as I do? Fascinating! 
That was a remarkable power. You have my respect, Fire. Oh. If we had shared it as I proposed, we would not have to come to this. I will have to hope that your professor is not as proficient as those alchemists with Team Adoth. We will meet again. Of that, I have no doubt. Why are all the opponents we come across so unreasonable? Now, I really vote to get out of here as soon as possible. Let's take the crystal and go back to the Professor Oliver. I agree. Oh, that's not good. There are recent footprints in the dust. The traitors must not be far away. Oh no, we have alerted them. I will lose my reputation as the perfect monster if you were discovered. Let me try something. I still have my Pokemon. I trust you, my friend. Huh? A Jigglypuff. This was the intruder? Zzz. A while later, the party was over. <sighs> it's finally over. I can't wait to get out of this dress. But you have done what I asked of you. Good job. What about the clerk called Mirror? What, ab what about that clerk called Mirror worries me? But the important thing is that the crystal is ours. Mm. Is what he said true? That the crystal can be used as an ultimate weapon that feeds on Pokemon? Shut the fuck. I just want to study his properties for the benefit of everyone. I won't be able to do that in my laboratory. I will have to visit a fellow alchemist who lives in no Novarte City. And as for you, Malia, you are the legendary hidden daughter of King Esther, right? Yes, but the fewer people know, the better. You can rest assured I will not investigate any further. I suppose the king has every reason to hide you. Oh, oh I just had a good idea that could turn out to be good. What if you request the help of Monsieur Lanto? He has money and is always there interested in financing research. He could provide us with more than enough means to develop the research of that crystal. He's a magnanimous person. Oh, Cristiano. Do you know about the disturbing news that's circulating around that man? Is that really your idol? <sighs> I should report to Professor. If that man is a voice... Voyage and Dupree. All slander is sort of misunderstandings. In the words of Master Virgilio, the value of a person can be measured by means of his distractors. Well, you know what I think? They didn't even want Master Virgo in their house. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Professor, you laughed. How cute. Uh, I, it was an allergy. Allergy to the waste, to waste of time. Should you be prepared to challenge your next Lord Regent? Take this. Some kind of admirer gave it to me during the party. It'll help you advance towards your next destination. That is a good spot to wrap up. In the next episode, we will make our way to... Let's see. Not there. Nope. There. Down there. Okay, so we're going here. And then go down. Cool. But that will be in the next episode. Probably the next two episodes. But thank you all so for watching. Make sure to smash that like button. Hit and subscribe if you're enjoying this playthrough. As well as the other ones. Game I'm currently playing in Vanguard. And feel free to leave any comments in the comment section. That being all said. I will see you guys in the next episode.